It is now 622. Fall is pretty much upon us, mm -hmm. and fall allergies definitely are. Yeah, the blooming season may be over, but allergies are still here with us. Our Drew Reeves is working for you with the allergies that could be affecting you this season. That's right. You've made it through the summer with no congestion, but now we're moving into the fall season. And although the foliage of summer may be fading, allergies are lurking. Fall aller allergies aren't nearly as common as allergies you'd see in the spring, but there are some common ones that could be causing your sneezing and runny nose. If you're experiencing serious runny nose, watery eyes, itching and coughing, it could be related to allergies and not a cold. Check with your doctor who should be able to rid you of some of those symptoms. So what are the most common allergies that we see in the fall? First, there's ragweed. It usually starts releasing its pollen late in August, but that pollen can linger until late fall. According to the Centers for Disease Control, about three quarters of people who are allergic to spring plants are allergic to ragweed. Next, mold. Mold spores love wet areas, which means piles of wet leaves can be a breeding ground. Dust is also a major allergy trigger. You can turn on your heater to stir them up, especially considering it's in every home. Doctors also say across the nation they expect seasonal allergies to be worse than usual this fall. And I'm pretty lucky because so far, Oof. my life, I have not had any uh, allergy problems. I didn't until, mm. uh, you know, just, I would say, uh, since I moved up here. Mm -hmm. And just this past weekend, we went to Sandpoint, and on the way there, I noticed that my asthma started kicking up, and then I just oh. sneezed about 15 times in a row. I'm like, what is the deal? <laughs> so yeah, it's something is kicking in. Yeah, yeah. I, haven't had, I haven't had too much yet. Uh, but I, I, I do get the seasonal stuff, so I'm sure it's fine.